Don't eat dirt. Here's an amazing story from the BBC. Typically I don't uh, do science vlogging on weekends, I'm off. Actually I'm trying to catch up on Doctor Who because you know Doctor Who is now on HBO Max and you know, I've got HBO Max, I'm trying to catch up with that. But no, this story, it came out from the BBC, yet another thing from the BBC, Doctor Who's a BBC production and now I'm reading BBC News and there's this, the BBC is, is, is taking up a lot of my time on this weekend. I'm telling you, it's a conspiracy. It's Big TARDIS <laughs> trying to disrupt my weekend. Now this came up, I saw it and I read it and I was like, holy crap, I got a vlog about this. Here's the headline, a teaspoon of soil, of Amazonian soil from the Amazon rainforest in South America can hold 1,800 different species of life forms. 1,800. 1,800. That's amazing. I'm sure most of you heard the old saying that for every disease that humans have, there's a plant that cures it. So, so here's an example of that whole thing. Have you guys ever heard of the drug Taxol? T-A-X-O-L. Taxol is a drug that fights breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and a thing called Kaposi syndrome, which I'm not really, really sure what that is. And where does it come from? Where, where does this wonder drug come from? The Pacific yew tree, which grows in the Pacific Northwest. The bark, something in the bark, fights breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and Kaposi syndrome. So when you hear the saying, for every malady that humans have, somewhere there's something on earth, a plant that fights it, a plant that kills it. So when you go back to the idea of one teaspoon of Amazonian soil contains 1,800 different species of life forms, and we have not cataloged them all. We are nowhere near cataloging them all. We could educate an entire generation to be microbiologists all over the planet, and we still wouldn't get the job done. It is astounding to me how, how many is in just one small, tiny soil sample. Let me read from the BBC article. To help protect the Amazon rainforest, which is being lost at an ever-increasing rate, it is essential to understand the role of fungi, said a team of researchers led by Professor Alexandra Antonella, Director of Science at the Royal Botanic Gardens. They said, take a teaspoon of soil and you will find hundreds or thousands of species, he said. Fungi are the next frontier of biodiversity science. This last year, we have destroyed a record amount of the Amazon rainforest. And it's just not the Amazon. We are destroying habitat all across the world. North America, South America, Asia, Africa, India. We are destroying a sinful amount of habitat. When we destroy habitat, we force species into extinction. And these are not species that outgrew their usefulness or or was uh, taken over by another species. Their habitat was uh, encroached on by other natural means. This is just us burning down the rainforest for no reason. And this is becoming a significant problem. We haven't even cataloged all the wildlife, all the flora, all the fauna yet. And here we are hacking it down at record speed for no real reason. Of all the things, you know, in plants and animals, if you compare those, to the research that's been done on fungi. Fungi has hardly made, gotten a toehold in terms of research. And remember, fungi is what gave us penicillin. That's an important discovery. And we're failing to understand the value. And I'm not just talking the monetary value. I'm talking the human value, the medical value the value of just the knowledge of understanding what these living organisms are that share the planet with us. How can we protect them? How can we use them in our own daily lives? And we don't have the leadership. We don't have the political leadership to protect these areas, to invest in research, invest in education. We don't have the business leadership 
to protect these areas and invest in education and perform research. We just don't have the spine. We don't have the backbone. We don't have leadership in these areas. What we do have is callousness. What we do have is opportunism. And what we do have is, I got mine, you don't need to get yours. So more into their experiment. Fungi and soil from tropical uh, countries are particularly poorly understood. To find out about soil from the Amazon rainforest in Brazil, researchers collected samples of soil leaf litter from four specific regions. Genetic analysis revealed hundreds of different fungi, including lichen, fungi living in the roots of plants, and fungal pathogens, most of which are unknown or extremely rare. Most species have yet to be named or even investigated. We have these samples and chances are we will mow down the rainforest before we even know what it is was there. Understanding soil diversity is critical in conservation actions to preserve the world's most diverse forest in a changing world, said Dr. Camilla Ritter of the University of Duisburg-Essen in Germany. For this, we need to put below ground diversity on the agenda for future conservation action plans, she said. We need to have uh, an action agenda to save the earth. We need to have an action agenda to reform our politics and our governments to take care of the earth for future generations. We can't just mow it all down. We can't continue putting pipeline over sacred areas or protected areas or threatened areas just to move tar sands from one country to another. It is suicide for us as a people. I mean, what are we doing? Fungi are essential for recycling nutrients and regulating carbon dioxide levels, as well as being a source of food and medicine. This research, by the way, uh, from teams in UK, Brazil, Germany, Sweden, and Estonia is published in the journal Ecology and Evolution. Now, me, as an American, the thing that I took away from that the U.S. had nothing to do with that article. The U.K., Brazil, Germany, Sweden, and Estonia is paying more attention to uh, biodiversity in the Amazon than we are. We couldn't even throw a grad student at this problem. That's where we're at in America. We just don't care. And for those of you that do care, we're going to have to do something about it. This is not a political message. This is saving your butt message. This is saving the world message. This is, this is not a democratic message. This is not a republican message. This is a people message. I'm, a, I'm one of those cranky independents. I hate both parties. But the fact that there was no American researchers involved with this, wow, this fascinating paper, discovering 1,800 different species in a teaspoon of Amazonian soil. Who are we? What has happened to America? With all the doom and gloom, <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> at least I'm trying, guys. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm here. I'm at least reading, trying to educate people on the importance of this stuff. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Hey, at least I'll be your lab partner. There's one person at least on here that's trying to help. I'll be your lab partner. Y'all be good. Take care. Bye-bye.